We're here today for the launch of the Culture, Tourism, Europe and External Relations Committee report into Erasmus+. Plus. Our committee has looked in depth at this exchange programme and we're really struck by the fact that it's not just university students that benefit from it. It's youth groups, disadvantaged young people, apprentices, they've all had the chance to have life transforming experience by visiting and working in another country. That could be anything from learning hairdressing in Spain to doing a football apprenticeship in Portugal. It's absolutely vital that as Brexit proceeds, the UK government find a way to ensure that we continue to participate fully in the Erasmus Plus programme. If the UK government refused to do that, we are asking the Scottish government who are responsible for education to find ways that Scotland can continue to participate in Erasmus Plus even if the UK do not because we want the best for our young people in Scotland.